Hi guys, my name is Dan. I'm Marissa. And we are a couple that likes to cook. Have Cooking with a couple. Yes, yeah, hence that name. <laughs> and today we're going to be making fiberlicious oatmeal cookies. Yeah. <laughs> For this recipe, you're going to just want some flour, sugar, Quaker oats, or any other kind of oats, doesn't really matter. Black chia or white chia seeds, millet, whole millet, baking soda, almond milk, or soy milk, or cow's milk, or goat milk, flax milk, hemp milk, oat milk, coconut milk, anything that resembles milk is fine. Eggs, and then our spices. Today we'll just be using pumpkin pie spice, ground cinnamon, and ginger. Because we couldn't find a baking sheet or cookie sheet at the store, we're just going to put them on broiling pans. To put them in the oven, which we have set already at 365 degrees. First, you're going to want to add all your dry ingredients to a large mixing bowl. together just to evenly distribute the large butt amount of stuff that you mix together. You combine your wet and your dry ingredients together. As you can maybe tell from how it looks and how I was struggling, that was not enough milk. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'll just add some more to it, about another, I want to say another half cup or so. Running a bit low, but that's all right. And, then, and that's a common thing with baking. You won't always add the right stuff the first time, but that's all right. You just add more to the mixture of either flour or milk or whatever ingredient you think you need more of to make it have just the right consistency. Looking good. Test the consistency of it. See if you need to add any more to it. Seems like it's a good consistency to me. All right. Yum. <laughs> So you're taking that there batter and putting it on those there broiling pads covered in canola oil because we didn't have any Pam. Yep. That's about the size you think they should be? Looks pretty good, don't you think? Yes, sir. <laughs> One cookie. Yes. should I put them in the oven for? I don't know how long. 20 minutes? Sounds good to me. Deal. Look at those cookies. Mm -hmm. Yay. I'm 
getting pretty excited. How about you? Yeah, they should be good. And have fun in there, little cookies. <laughs> All right, cookies are done. Time to take them out of the oven. The first batch, anyway. Wow, they look really, really good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm very excited. Yeah. Can't wait to try them out. And here is the finished product. It looks very bumpy, very tasty. Very fiberlicious and ready to go into somebody's mouth. Getting ready to eat a cookie. What do you say? Really good? Pretty good, yeah. <laughs> the milk really, really adds some flavor to it. Really? Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> That's my turn. Mmm, wow, yeah. These are really good. Mm-hmm. Millet and chia add um kind of an extra crunch to it. <laughs> Thumbs up. My hands are full. <laughs> <laughs> so I will just have to say happy evening. Happy eating. Thank you for watching Cooking with a Couple. Mm-hmm. Thanks for watching. Good evening. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>